Because it's not like we can just, like, confront him and be like, You are steal ceilings and give us our stuff back or whatever. <laughs> cargo walk in, cargo punch guy, cargo take sandal. You guys get ball if you want. You can't just punch him like that. I mean, especially not in a major city. It's illegal. Well, illegal to punch? Yes. <laughs> Illegal to stab, not to punch. Uh, it's illegal to assault. <laughs> In any way or shape or form. What do table seasonings have to do with fight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm more concerned about how to stop him from running away at that speed. Cargo been practicing jump. <laughs> I think that's gonna, I don't know if that's gonna oh, help us. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so, so you guys, assuming you guys are camping out, you know, you're you're eating your rations and hanging out and discussing this um, as you guys are resting up. Does anyone want to do anything? I, um, idea. Other than that? Idea? What idea. What? We punch him in dark alley where nobody see. Oh. <laughs> it's still illegal if That's he goes still... to the police about it. That's oh, still not, a step in a direction of a plan. Not illegal if no one see. <laughs> it still is. It's, it's, Heronius it's, it's, it's is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of concurring there with Cargo. I'm just saying. <laughs> Does it really matter? I mean, um, we could just simply try to talk to him. Easier to talk after punch. <laughs> Unless you mess up his brain pan or something. I did not hit him full strength. Are you going to say something, Rosorty? Um, yeah, let's wait until we see where he is, what he's doing. Maybe he'll already be down in a dark alleyway and can't run away. Maybe he'll be standing on a track ready to run. Let's see where we are and then regroup once we find the man. It's a big city, but I have a feeling we'll find him. All right. So Someone's going to notice this guy. Cargo can sense sandal. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, we saw how that worked last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Hey, wow. we got we on right track. Just saying. Beautiful. <laughs> so, um, you guys are uh, you're sort of hanging out. Uh, does anyone want to take any uh, opportunity to cast a spell on a tabard <clears throat> or um, do anything else before you take a rest and uh, yeah. regain all your spells or anything like that? Yeah, I'll put a, a cure minor wounds into the tabard. Awesome. Um, what does that do? Why are you doing it? Um, it's a, it, uh, I would assume it's got a hold spell on it. Yeah, uh, really quick. Um, while you guys were running to the rest uh, restroom, uh, we decided just to, she wanted to get something appraised. Uh, her tabard is capable of holding a spell in the uh, inort, in, um, the inornate hem that uh, goes around the outside. Apparently it's capable of holding a spell. So if she casts a spell into it, she can save it sort of like a battery. Uh, and throw it out hmm. later. Oh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, so you guys sort of do that. Uh, go ahead and cast your um, your spell and do that jazz. Uh, you guys have no problems throughout the night. Anyone that needs healing would get another four at this point, uh, health points. Um, you guys sort of wake up uh, with no Folgers in your cup. Um, and uh, so anything you guys want to do in the morning? Anyone have any particular regimen they would like to take care of? Um, drink, if you will. I'll do the normal pray to Heronius thing yep. that I would do. The normal praying thing. I'll probably have some idol. My shield is also the idol, so. There you go. Wake up, check the gold. <laughs> For a brief moment. There. Um, fear strikes your heart, uh, lock, as it may be possible one of the bags is a little bit lighter. Um, but after second checking, it seems to be the right weight. Uh, it seems to jingle just the right way. Everything think, seems to be uh, fine. I think of getting a little stronger and used to holding all this gold. <laughs> to feel a little lighter. Excellent try. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so there you go. Uh, GM. <laughs> so you guys go ahead and uh, commence 
throughout the throughout the, the going um you guys made it about uh, i'd say you guys made it about here Boink. Yeah, that's not bad that's not bad you guys made it about there um you guys keep going um you come across somebody uh who um is like fixing their cart on the side of the road and they're like you know they got their oxen there they've got like a cart full of various goods um and some uh some stuff on there but it, it seems that they're they're headed uh towards the city Ooh. i should ask them too if they saw id wolf just to make sure we're still going on the right path so i guess i'll do that <coughs> i'll describe the guy if awesome they, if they saw him right uh so you describe the guy uh sort of uh you describe him and he says uh i don't think i saw him uh i saw some strange things uh a while back but i'm not really quite sure what i saw um all i'm really concerned with is getting this uh stuff back over to the city as quickly as possible as uh this uh this route i have in my my cart is not gonna last unless i get it there do you know you don't know what these strange things were in uh, the description sort of like a like a blur i didn't i didn't really see it, it i thought it I, for a moment i thought there was uh there's maybe bandits come to uh, raid my cart, but uh, as you can see, I'm fine. Um, so yeah, you no, I, I didn't really see anything. Help? Okay. You need help fix? Uh, yes. Yes, I would love a fix. Hmm, I have mending. Does that work for that? Um, mending? Yeah, absolutely. Mending is really good for fixing something small, uh, simple. Um, you wouldn't be able to mend, say, a lock that seemed to be broken, but you'd be able to mend, like, a broken wand or, like, a broken chair leg or something like that. So, yeah, you can use mend. Okay. I'd like to do so. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's got this, like, spare wheel uh, that he's been trying to, like, work with to, like, fix up. Um, it's, like, the the, um, the wheel seems to be slightly broken. It's the only wheel he has. He doesn't really have a have anything else. I mean, this, this crappy wheel he has. So you take the one that um, that's actually broken, right? And you cast the spell. You sort of like uh, wave your hand over it, um, and it sort of, sort of almost looks like a like a heat wave, if you will. You know how like you you look through the heat uh, on a hot yeah. day. You can see all how it like makes everything. That sort of happens and sort of heals the um, begins healing the uh, the broken outside rim of the wheel and uh, one of the tines there. I'm sort of just sort of like grows back into uh, a solid thing. Uh, the, the guy is amazed and thrilled at what you've done. Uh, he offers you, um, he offers you, uh, what he calls Yurg Root. Yurg Root? Yeah. Oh, no, Yurg Root, I'm Cargill. <laughs> <laughs> Would I know what this is? Um, it's, it seems to be a root that, uh, is good for making booze. It's also good for making, um, various dyes. You know, that's that's awfully nice of you, but where are you headed? Uh, I, I'm headed to uh, Scrimshaw. Got any room in that cart for four nice, lovely people? Um, he says, I have room for three people in this cart. Then I gotta be one of them. Hmm. I'll walk. Hmm. <laughs> I immediately hop onto the uh, cart. <laughs> Sit my whole year next to me, <laughs> kicking my legs joyously in front of me. Oh boy, a ride! Damn, Peter. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. Cargo can hang off the side or something. Um, I mean, you guys could like probably find one. He's just, I mean, like, he's thinking that he's got three seats, you know, in the front bench. Um,. If you guys want to try and try and like convince him that you could climb on somewhere, yeah. totally, yeah. totally. He says, I can, uh, I can hang on to the side for a long time. <laughs> he says, uh, yeah, but the big guy can't sit on the root. I, I gotta, you gotta, gotta be careful of the, the your group because if the your group uh, gets crushed in any way, it won't be viable, uh, for the crystallization that needs to happen in the, um, the fermentation process. I'm no alchemist, but <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll climb up on the side on the on the outside of the the, the cart. Okay, so you're just kind of like hook yeah, in there, <laughs> pretty much. Okay. <laughs> All right, sure, sure. Give me an um, give me a constitution check. 
22. Uh, you managed for a good long while to do so. Um, you managed, you make good headway towards the city. Uh, the cart is not entirely, um, not entirely, uh, like nine times faster than you guys or anything. It's, but it is faster than walking. Um, you guys do make some good headway over there and, um, it ends up being that, uh, that you guys make it about, about here before nightfall. Um, Cargill, you are very exhausted, um, for having held on to the cart the entire time. Uh, it was a strenuous, uh, time for you. No doubt. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the guy sort of like, um, gets out and he, he pulls out a few of the, the, the yurg roots and, uh, starts building a fire and, um, begins cooking what seems to be some sort of yurg root stew. Of a kind? This doesn't sound appealing. This is, he, yeah, is he making enough for everybody? Because I'm starving. <laughs> um, he does seem to be making enough for uh, everybody. Uh, he says, normally I would use much less because it would be only myself, but thank you so much for your, your kind assistance. I have to repay you somehow. He says, please, please eat some of this Yurg root uh, stew. Uh, he's, he's cooked it for about an hour and a half. Um, as you guys, you know, the sun's down already. It's like definitely nighttime. Um, and and he offers it to you guys. Nern roots, uh, your root stew. I'll All try right. some. Yep, I'll try some too. I take it. What about the rest of you? I guess. I mean, I could be the official taster again evil? here. I don't mind. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead and detect evil. Okay, I'm detecting. <laughs> you detect you first. You detect no evil around you. Uh, even by Peter's sack. <laughs> oh, um. Actually, it's yes, you would detect that. Sorry, am I mistaken? I am mistaken. You do detect a little bit of evil coming from Peter the Knave. Okay. If I concentrate, I'll concentrate on it a little. Is it coming from the same spot? Uh, it is. Where is your pouch that res that has the small piece of paper on it? It's hanging by my groin. Uh, it is most <laughs> definitely evil. Uh, near near Peter good. the Knave's groin. Um, you have no idea exactly what it is. It could be some evil spell used to enhance uh it could be um it could be that it is uh it is not uh not an inanimate object in fact it is maybe capable of its own will uh it is really no telling what this evil could be um it's you, you wonder why know. we don't trust you when you detect evil it's because you detect evil in peter's groin <laughs> Uh, you cannot, you cannot, um, you cannot know what this evil is. Okay. It is faint, though, uh, and by no means, um, would overpower any of you throughout the night. But it is there. It's faint evil in that zone. Okay. I, what do you guys want me to do? I mean, that's, that's what you guys have decided. All right. I'll take first watch. <laughs> oh, so you guys, uh, you guys eat your yogurt stew, um, who would like to have the first bite? I think I'll just eat. You just just eat some of your rations? Yeah. Okay. So it basically tastes like um, sweat and earth that is really bitter. <laughs> Those are um, two tastes that I'm used to. So this is delicious. Uh, yeah. It basically tastes like sweat and earth. Um, it's, it's not the most delicious stew you've had, but... Um, if any of you are actually eating it, um, you do feel very good while eating it. Um, it does it does seem to um, to fill you in a good way, uh, though it might not be the most splendiferous thing you've ever put on your tongue. It definitely makes you feel a little bit better. Uh, should you eat it, you get um, if anyone's hurt by any any means, um, would be healing up a little bit more uh, and be getting a plus one bonus for the next five hours. Who's going to sleep for eight hours? Uh, I'm taking first watch, so not me. Awesome. I've already curled up with my hurdy gurdy. <laughs> <laughs> Dreaming of your tones. I'll rest. Um, I don't really need to rest. I'm gonna stay up. Cool, cool. Uh, did you eat your um? Yeah. Stew. I ah. would take it on. I would take it on Cargill's great recommendation. Um. And I'll make it. <laughs> tastes like mom used to make. Um, you find that uh, because you've eaten this stew, that uh, you really don't need that much rest. Uh, it doesn't hamper you in any way to have 
not slept. So yeah, you you hang out with cargo. Maybe you guys only play like some cards or something. Yeah. Or you just want to do you want to hide in the corner and count your gold? <laughs> wow. He can count his gold. I'm gonna like. I'm a little bit of a loner. I'm not gonna I'm look not, at the gold. I want to get the lay of the land, like you know, just in case. I, uh, like maybe find a high point. I contemplate the past. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Uh, so, so Cargo, uh, you, you you don't know. <laughs> you got you you venture out uh, into the world there. Um, uh, not not too far from camp, but you get a little high point, uh, and you can almost see uh, some lights from the city. Uh, nearby, though, you do see a, a much closer lights um, from a small village. Uh, it seems to be just to the south of you. Can I, how, how far south, like, are we talking here? Uh, we're talking, I mean, like, it'd be a couple, it would be like three hours if you were to, like, oh. run over there. Well, I can take the wet now, I'll just stay. I'm, but I will far. keep my, my high vantage point to, to keep watch over my friends and Peter the Knave. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Who is not your friend? Because <laughs> he's rude! Uh, in the way that his, um, junk is evil. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> like we, I don't ever know as Miani has never conveyed it to us that she detects this. I don't recall that. No, I never did. Okay. Uh, she just, she just, uh, just like spouts like there's evil over there. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait what? For, for what? Okay. Yeah, like when you usually, when you really usually relate to the group, you're like usually there's, there's evil over there. Yeah. No, uh, I, oh, I didn't know if that was actually relayed at this point. Uh, I don't think she told anyone about the the crotch being. Yeah, no, evil. nothing about. I think she crotch. she kept the crotch. It evil. wasn't at his she crotch didn't... originally. Okay, it was by his head. <laughs> she didn't tell us, but we all saw her staring intently at his junk for like a <laughs> minute to two minutes. <laughs> oh, you think something's going on over there? Uh... Riz Riz was just like it was just visions of cranking. He's hurdy gurdy <laughs> and playing notes. That's all he had. Um, Visions of cranking. That's a hashtag. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the, the morning comes. Uh, there seems to be no issue, no no badness, no no nasty coming at your face, um, no spiders eking out of the forests. Uh, all seems relatively normal with the world. Um, you sort of wake up with this uh, Yurg guy. Um, but he doesn't seem to be getting up himself. He what? Doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't like. You guys are all up, like ready to go. He's he's out. He's snoring loudly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's snoring loudly. Let's lay him in the back of the cart and just continue on our way, so I can put up front. No, no, don't put him in the cart. Um, that crushes root, and he asked us very nicely not to do that. Yep. He said that I would crush the root. He didn't say anything about his tiny self. No, let's not crush his root. You could tie him to the underside of the cart. That'd be horrible. Oh, can <laughs> you tie me to the underside of the cart? <laughs> I think I don't think you'd fit. Your you just big see like arms arm. sticking out the side. Like, <laughs> can we just like push him in like with the roots, like you know? Like... He's just sleeping. Let him sleep. <laughs> I like where this is going. <laughs> um, far be it to me to tell you guys what to do, but perhaps you could try waking him the hell up <laughs> before you try throwing him in the back of the cart. Or I don't know. Uh, just a thought. You could splash some some yogurt stew on his face. Ow. Anything. Is there, is there any more of that? Can I eat some of that before we leave? No. Yeah. There's there's plenty for breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna eat a nice big bowl of disgustingness. <laughs> Enjoy that. I'm gonna I'm gonna also eat some if I can because I'm saving rations. Well I have to hang on to the side of a friggin' wagon for the next eight hours, so <laughs> <laughs> Excellent well. Alright, uh, so I mean did you guys you guys wake him up? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I sing our anti lullaby, it's what I do. I still <laughs> contemplate not our anti Yeah, I want more death metal. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, more death yeah. metal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So <clears throat> why you sleep in the deep. This song's Fleek, yeah. <laughs> he went oddly hip hop at the end there. <laughs> um, the the death metal hurdy gurdy um, literally makes the yurg root um, in the pot sort of vibrate um, with with sound. You can feel almost as if uh, the depths of the world sing to you while while you uh, while you play this epic song, um, and uh, he sort of sort of wakes up. 
wildly as if um, as if something had just startled him greatly as he almost tripped over a log or something. He seems very shocked. He comes to uh, in realizing um, that all is right with the world. Uh, he sort of stands up and uh, dusts himself off like like nothing happened at all, and it's not embarrassing. Please don't look at me. I don't look at him. <laughs> so, th this car's being pulled by oxen, right? You said? Yeah, oxen. Can I ride on an oxen instead of the cart? Um, yeah, I yeah. Two loads to pull. <laughs> Poor ox. They have to look. They have to pull it no matter where he's sitting. I guess that's true. <laughs> I have to pull I it nowhere. Sit, I can sit in between them, like um, on on the yoke. So you guys, you guys go ahead and get ready. Uh, you're gonna go uh, over to the town. Um, and uh, the the farmer says, uh, ah, 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 you d don't ride James. Don't ride. And he points to the darker colored oxen. He says, don't ride James. James has a temper and he's angry. Ride, ride Bessie, who's actually a guy, but his name, she's just, it's Bessie. Ride Bessie. Well, Cargo will have temper. Maybe James and I be friends. No, 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 no. Don't, please, 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 please don't do that. It could be bad. Okay. <laughs> it's good Cargo, one, but I have no way to. Cargo mounts Bessie. <laughs> All right. Cargo mounts Bessie. Um, now, do you have ride? Uh, <laughs> let's find out. Uh, I, I do. I do. Roll it, please. Okay. <laughs> 13, um, you by no means ride this in an expert fashion. Um, there's several times where everyone's watching you. Just, you're kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> sort of ride it. Um, but you that managed. Way, that's, that's not how you ride an ox? Uh, that's how you're riding this ox. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. Uh, so there you go. Now you're riding, uh, you're riding um, Bessie uh, and not James. And uh, you guys commence back over to the city. So onward to the city, you guys go with absolutely no troubles uh, in the way um, until about uh, just as the sun begins to set. You got like maybe maybe an hour or two hours, probably probably closer to two hours of the day left um, when something occurs. Wait, are we going to that little village right now? Are we? No, you're going here. Okay, we weren't gonna go to that other one that we saw. No. I mean, nobody said anything about it. Nobody wanted to go. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't see it myself, right? So. Yeah, and I don't think Cargo uh, explained too much. So you guys are getting right about right about here. Uh, right about here. Uh, you guys probably could have rode through the night to make it into town, which is probably what the what the farmer's plan was. Um, but right about there, uh, there seems to be a problem. A gentleman stands in the path. Uh, he stands there well armored in his leathers um and he waits for you guys to stop the cart don't stop <laughs> i detect evil um you don't sense evil oh, okay sense motive this guy intends to rob you this guy intends to rob us <laughs> <laughs> It's really not hard. I mean, I mean, you should be making a check. I should make you do a check. Okay. Do a check. But it is, I mean, unless... I just, if you I roll, maybe if you roll a one. Maybe he's in need of help. And if he was in need of help, he wouldn't be standing in the middle of the road, like, waiting for us to stop. Like, you never know. Yes, you do. Yes, you, you can tell by looking at him. Right. You are, you are well and certain this man is here to rob. Uh, he sits there, uh, leaning against his longbow, uh, in the middle of the road. Um, it is obvious that there's probably some sort of ambush on either side ready to go. Um, I do a spot check. Look around for spot more. Spot check. Oh, yeah. You can, you can see, like, a couple of guys, uh, off near a rock or two. Skoink. Oh, let me, I think I gotta, I gotta drag you guys over here. Skoink. Here we ah. go. All right, awesome. Uh, so yeah, you guys are seeing this sort of little uh, little place right here. Let me go ahead and grab some. Uh, let me grab your, your little tokens. So yeah, discuss what your your plan is. Uh, would you guys like to talk to this guy? Uh, I'm gonna let you guys handle the talking. I'm gonna do what I do best and jump off that ox and ready my weapons. Can I diplomacy the guy and be like, hey, friend, 
we're not here to harm you. Don't do this. Or something along the lines. Uh, hey, friend, we're not here to harm you. Don't do this. Um, or we don't wish to harm you. Don't do this. Yeah. Um, you're trying to diplomacy this guy? Yeah. All right. Um, well, roll a check, please. Diplomacy check. I should have named one of my axes diplomacy. That would have been nice. <laughs> that would have been pretty sweet. <laughs> ba -bum, ba -bum. All right. Uh, Locke should be able to do his business. Uh, I was going to speak up, but she spoke, so I'm waiting to hear his response. Awesome. I rolled a 20. Uh, you rolled a 20? Awesome. Uh, this guy's definitely considering. He says, what do you have in the back of that there cart? Roots. That's it. Oh, he goes, you're a Groot. You're a Groot. Cargo snarls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not that crap again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he says, go ahead. But watch yourself. This isn't a, this isn't a good place. I can tell. I s <laughs> might suggest you find a new profession. He says, uh... <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have a retort. Sorry. Uh... He's an idiot. That's why he's a criminal. <laughs> he's an idiot. Miani, why don't you invite them along? You know, they could probably be traveling companions for us. You could have a whole order of novitiates to, yeah. to get order. <clears throat> be great. Maybe you could show them how to detect evil. <laughs> Or Maybe wake up with your armor off. gone. <laughs> Ooh, that was good commentary. Wake up with I don't your armor trust gone. These people. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but if you leave them here, the next people along are sure to be waylaid. Can you and right conscience do that? Can I Peter make good point? <laughs> <laughs> also, but if they follow us, aren't they just gonna probably steal from us? You could reform them. I believe in you for sure. Can I see Cargo? <laughs> yes. Just in the ways of Heronius. Can I, can I see if he's being if he's facetious? <laughs> All right, please do. Please do. What do you got? Car Cargo will agree. We should reform them. You work on soul. Me work on right. faith. Sixteen. Um, are you? Are you? You're, you're trying to bluff, so please, uh, would you? Would you... I'm, I'm teasing, oh. so I think it's, yeah. Oh, so it's it's beyond apparent. <laughs> I mean, she's a paladin. I don't know how thick her skull is, but pretty you know, thick. Okay. Pretty, <laughs> pretty thick. I mean, if you wanted to seem genuine, you could roll a bluff check. If you don't care, what? it's fine. It's fine. It is clear to you um, that he's 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 poking fun at you. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think this much. All right. Yeah. I think now she needs to roll to see if she just does it anyway, because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I'll call your, I'll call your BS. <laughs> I cannot, <laughs> in good conscience, also bring these people into a major city. Ooh, sneaky. Sneaky way to justify <laughs> screwing this fight and walking away. If I bring criminals into a populated city, I could do more harm than good. See? <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> All right. Best of luck to the granny I'm trying to get down to see her family oh. next day tomorrow. <laughs> it's all right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so uh, Locke is just like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I really couldn't care less i would kill them <laughs> uh, so, so I, have a, I have a question um well you got you guys are sort of passing by I, I, i'm assuming you guys are are okay with moving along right okay so i'm you guys... a little conflicted <laughs> peter made a very good point in the fact that if we just leave them here they're gonna rob somebody else it's true they might you know how i feel i don't care they're not innately <laughs> evil so they might not <laughs> <laughs> they might not. Well, I yeah, mean, it, it really didn't take him. Your Groot. Uh, it didn't take them much to like, right? Bugger this, you know. I, all I did was say we were, we didn't want to fight, and well, like, maybe yeah. we can scare them off. We don't have to necessarily kill them, but if they're gonna all be right. watching this road, like they could rob somebody, and that's not cool. So, um, the farmer is really Unless excited. 
the farmer is really excited to be out of this situation. Um, once the uh, the gentlemen here are like, oh yeah, fine, whatever. I hate you and your damn root. Um, this guy's like, this is my opportunity to get out and I ain't, I'm taking it. So he begins moving the cart. Um, Cargill, if you would like to scare these guys off, um, please feel free to make an intimidation check. Um, go ahead and do that. Okay, so uh, I, I will say uh, like, as, as we're like,